In this video, image-based high-content screening is performed to assess small molecule-based modulation of the fibroblast growth factor RASMAP kinase pathway in zebrafish embryos. Transgenic male and wild-type female zebrafish are mated in a breeding cage. Fertilized eggs fall to the bottom and are collected and transferred to a petri dish. The embryos are incubated overnight, then placed into individual wells of a 96-well round-bottom plate. The small molecule BCI is added to hyperactivate FGF signaling, and the plate is incubated for 6 hours. Images from each well are captured with a confocal plate reader, and analyzed using a self-designed algorithm which reports fluorescence intensities in specific embryonic structures. Hi, I'm Hiba Kador from the laboratory of Dr. Michael Chang at the Department of Microbiology and molecular genetics at the University of Pittsburgh. Hi, I'm Andreas Vogt from the University of Pittsburgh Drug Discovery Institute. Today we will show you the procedure for breeding, selecting, and arraying zebrafish embryos for chemical treatment in a 96 well plate. We will use transgenic embryos that report on fibroblast growth factor activities and treated with a molecule that hyperactivate this pathway. We will show you how we use high content screening methodology to automatically acquire, analyze, and quantify fibroblast growth factor activity in transgenic zebrafish embryos. This procedure will highlight platform technology to utilize transgenic zebrafish and high throughput chemical screens. So let's get started. Two days prior to treatment,